am audible yes sir you are audible okay so let's let's start and this is this is our demo session okay and before proceeding further like uh, let me tell you like if it would be two way communication that it will be very good for you so it should be it should not be like only i am speaking okay you guys are also free to ask me any question in between if you guys get any doubt you can stop me there only and you can ask anything like whatever you want to know about this profile okay okay so before proceeding uh, let me tell you about myself so my name is arun kumar and my name is arun kumar and i have around 8.5 years of experience okay and i have worked on few of the organization like tcs sherman and tedens analytics and right now i am working in gurgaon in one of the mnc and i am working as subject matter expert in my organization and if you talk about my roles and responsibilities then i am involved in setting up azure infrastructure in my organization from zero from scratch and i am involved in guiding guiding the teams on on azure data engineering for azure data engineering profile okay so i am basically working as the subject matter expert in my organization okay and today in this session we will be i will be telling you the all bits bits and buts related to this azure data engineering profile okay and you are free to ask anything in between if you have any doubt okay okay let's proceed further okay okay so first of all let me tell you okay first of all let me tell you uh, about this azure data engineering profile okay so this azure data engineering profile can be broken down into two parts <coughs> the first part is azure okay and the second part is data engineer okay the first part is azure and the second part is data engineer okay and this azure uh, many of you might be aware that this is a cloud cloud platform right this azure is a cloud platform okay this azure is a cloud platform and this data engineering is a skill okay data engineering is a skill so what do i mean by azure data engineer okay so it means a mix up of data engineer over cloud platforms okay it means processing of data engineer what does data engineer do basically there is a there is a very much heavy increase in the size of data in the latest date okay and to handle that heavy size of data to process data or to store that data in a better manner okay in a better manner data engineers are responsible for managing or handling those data in a better manner and if data engineers are handling or processing that data on azure cloud platform then they are called as azure data engineer okay then they are called as then they are called as azure data engineer okay okay so this is this is a little bit of background like what an azure data engineer is okay so let me tell you this is if you have come here believe me if you are you have come here it's it's pretty much sure that you have come to boost your career you have come to learn a technology to know about a technology that can give a big boost to your career okay so believe me this this azure data engineer has has given give has boosted my career has has turned my career actually from down to up and and i believe that this azure data engineer profile will also will also help in growing in your career actually because this is one of the topmost technology that are available right now in the market okay 
one of the topmost technology that are available in the market. There is very much huge demand, very much huge demand of this language. Okay. There is very much huge demand of this language right now in the market. Okay. Very heavy demand of this language. Okay. Very, very heavy demand of this technology. Okay. Very heavy demand of this technology. This technology have shortage of skill set in the market. Okay. Shortage of this skill sets set in the market. Okay. If, and if I am seeing it, believe me, this is the reality. I have taken more than 500 interviews. Okay. I have taken more than 500 interviews and I get only few candidates that really know like that really know data engineering on Azure platforms. Okay. In industry, companies are not getting right candidates. Okay. I know this. Why I know this? Because I am part of that interview panel. So I know that what is the shortage of this technology that is there in market. Okay. Due to this technology, this technology has short supply, very less supply actually, very less supply. Okay. This technology has very less supply and the demand is very heavy. Okay. Demand is very heavy. <laughs> okay. It means in companies, the requirement for Azure data engineers are very high, but the supply is very less. Okay. But the supply is very less. Okay. Why the demand is very high actually? Okay. Why the demand is very high? So if we if we talk about the major cloud platforms that are there in market, so majorly there are three cl cloud platforms that are there in market. That is AWS, Azure and GCP. Okay. AWS, Azure and GCP. This AWS is a cloud product of Amazon. Okay. Cloud platform of cloud platform of Amazon. Okay. This is cloud platform of Amazon. This Azure is cloud platform of Microsoft. Okay. This Azure is cloud. Cloud platform of Microsoft. Okay. And this GCP is cloud platform of platform of Google. Okay, cloud platform of Google and we will be learning data engineering over this Azure platform. Okay, data engineering can be done over all the three platforms in AWS, Azure or GCP, but we will be learning data engineering on Azure platform. Okay. Okay, we'll be learning data engineering on Azure platform. Okay. We'll be learning data engineering on this Azure platform. Okay. Okay. So before st before starting, let me tell you my story, like how I came into this Azure data engineering. Why? Why? There were three, three. I mean, like how how I came into this Azure data engineering profile. Okay. Let me tell you this story. Okay. Let me tell you this story that how I came into this Azure data engineering profile. Okay. So like when I started few few years back, okay, when I started like uh, I was working in TCS and the growth was very less actually. Okay. And then I started looking for a technology that can boost your career that, that could boost my career actually. Okay. That could boost my career. So many th things I did. Okay, if you believe me, many things I did. First of all, I started learning Power BI. Okay, I started learning Power BI. Okay, then I I was not getting enough call. Then I started learning data scientist. Okay, data scientist. This was also I mean at that time there were very 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 big big boom in this data scientist profile. Okay. But this boom was only there looking there in internet. Actually, this was not the reality. Okay, and this is the case even right now. Okay, this is the case even right now. When you go to open your LinkedIn profile or you or when you open your uh, YouTube channel, YouTube or when you open any of the social media platform, like everywhere you see everyone is talking about data scientist. Everyone wants to become data scientist. Everyone wants to go into AI. 
okay but what is what is the reality of job market in this in this in this data scientist profile okay what is the reality of data scientist profile job market of this data scientist profile in market right now okay so the jobs are at that time i came to know that jobs are very less in this profile i will show you i will just prove this in front of you okay jobs are very less in the market not only less it is very less people have invested 7 7 lakhs 10 10 lakhs in learning this data scientist profile but they are not getting the calls actually this is the reality of this this job actually okay so i also learned this i also learned this technology and i was not getting calls very few calls i was getting and i was i got very much frustrated at that time okay then i did little bit of analysis okay and then i came to know about data engineering okay then i came to know about data engineering okay so you see how much time i would have wasted in learning all these things actually okay then i came to know about data engineering and here when i i learned this and i what i did was i i made a dummy demo resume okay and i put that in nokri profile okay when i put that resume in nokri profile i i got bombarded with the calls actually i mean initially the number of calls was very less but but the number of calls as compared to data scientist or power bi was very high actually okay now after when i was preparing for this data engineering profile then earlier this data engineering profile used i mean this data engineering used to happen on this hadoop platform if you guys might have heard about this this hadoop platform earlier data engineering was happening on this platform actually okay but now all the companies are moving to cloud okay all the companies are moving to cloud so there are majorly three clouds that are in th there in the market that i just explained you okay that i just explained you okay AWS, Azure, and GCP. Okay, there are majorly these three cloud platforms in the market. Okay, so when I was learning data engineering, I learned Hadoop, and and I I was I I was knowing that time that this is getting old, and now cloud is coming. Okay, so now there were three cloud platforms in the market. That is AWS, Azure, and GCP. Now I got confused that on which cloud platform should I learn this data engineering. so i think that many of you might have the same question so that's why i picked up my story so that you can relate it to myself so that you can relate yourself to myself okay the way i was confused the same way you might have also confused okay so in which platform should i learn data engineering this was the next question that was in front of me okay then i started doing little bit of research in this these three three cloud platforms actually okay <coughs> these cloud platforms actually okay so when i did research on this aws platform this has most market share this has most market share in the industry okay it means most of the com companies most market share in the industry it means most of the countries were using this aws cloud platform okay most of the companies were using this aws cloud platform and i when i looked around me when i looked my friends and my looked my colleagues every second or third person every second or third person had this had this aws certification <clears throat> okay every second or third person had this aws certification with them okay and i didn't want it to be part of crowd because it's all about it's all about demand and supply right it's everything is about demand and supply okay demand and supply in azure what what happened was in azure what happened was there was high demand but high supply also okay high demand but high supply also okay it means the industries were needing this skill set okay industries were needing this skill set on aws okay it means the demand was high but at the same time at the supply time at the supply side it means at the candidate side the number of candidates who had aws as their skill set were also high so of course the competition would be high here right competition would be high here i'm talking logically okay i'm logic talking logically that's why i mean i took this 
this decision logically so if you are taking decision to learn azure data engineering so there should be some logic behind it right your mind should be satisfied with the logic that why you have choose that azure data engineering okay if you have this logic only then you can sustain for long run i mean you can learn it and you can learn with full zeal or full will learn with full energy okay so in this aws i mean every second or third person that i made had this aws certification of course it had the most market share in the industry i mean the companies that were using cloud platform okay in those companies most of the companies were using aws so why because this aws was launched before this azure or gcp okay this aws cloud platform which is product of amazon was launched way before this azure and gcp okay so that's why most company had adopted this aws okay so that's why that's why it had high demand because most of the companies had adopted this aws and it had high supply as well it means the candidates that were in market had as i said every second or third person had this skill set okay so the competition was very high okay now when i came to gcp its market share was list okay market share was list so what do i mean by market share was list it means that very less companies were there in the market that was using gcp as cloud platform in those companies okay market share was less so of course if the market share is less its demand was less okay its demand was less okay and when i talk about the azure okay azure it had medium market share at that time okay it had medium market share at that time okay medium market share at that time and and it had i never seen anyone around me okay i never seen anyone around me who had who had this azure skill set okay who had this azure skill set i never seen anyone around me who had this azure skill set but the mid market share of this technology was at that time medium okay then i then i did some kind of research okay i came to know that this is a microsoft product okay this is a microsoft product and every company has microsoft <laughs> every company is using one or or the other way microsoft software right if they are using windows that is microsoft software right if they are using some other technologies like msbi okay that is microsoft software if you are using teams that is microsoft software it means none of the company is there is none of the company in the world that that doesn't use any of the product of microsoft okay but there are many companies in the world that doesn't uses even a single product of aws right so it was obvious that companies would trust more on microsoft right it was very much obvious okay it was very much obvious and since this is the microsoft product company would trust more on this right companies would trust more on this so that was the time that i decided that i took that decision that i will be learning azure azure i will be learning data engineering data engineering on azure cloud okay that was the logic behind decision that i take took that time and believe me this was one of the best decision that i took in my life okay this was one of the best decision that i took in my life actually at that time okay okay so i was talking about this azure actually okay so it had medium medium market share okay and i have i had never seen anyone who had this azure skill set around me it means it means it had demand in the industry okay it had demand in the industry okay but the supply was supply was very very less supply was very very less actually okay and this is what the case till now it is okay there is very less supply in the market one of the major reason of very less supply in the market is this azure platform is a play, paid pla paid platform okay <laughs> this azure platform azure platform azure cloud azure cloud is a 
paid cloud platform okay is a paid cloud platform okay this azure cloud is a paid cloud platform okay and this is one of the reason that even those who want to learn they, they don't they don't know how to learn and actually uh, they are not able to learn this azure skill set actually most of the people who has this skill set even now got the opportunity in industry to learn it that's why they were able to learn it otherwise they would not have learned it actually are you getting my point still even today there is not many years have passed okay it is it is a new technology nascent technology okay and this is right time to learn these technologies actually okay because there is very much less candidates in the market who knows this azure cloud platform okay so let me show you one thing so i was here talking about that i also learned this data scientist and ai ai thing okay ai thing but the number of calls that i was getting was very less okay very less very less okay and when i when i put azure data engineering on azure cloud in my resume i i got bombarded with the calls actually okay and if you are not believing it you will also believe it when you will put this data engineering on azure cloud resume in in your resume and put that resume in your nokri nokri.com profile okay <clears throat> i'm very much sure that you will also get bombarded with calls actually okay okay so this was the thing and if if you are i want to show you something i want to compare this data scientist okay uh, like everywhere they everywhere i mean some kind of everywhere everywhere you see data scientist data scientist data scientist but i want to take a show a comparison between data scientist and data engineers okay i told you people have invested 7 7 lakhs in this profile and they are they are not getting jobs okay let me open nokri platform in front of you and let me compare these the jobs between jobs between these two profiles okay let me show you okay let me show you okay so this is this is the nokri profile okay let me search for data scientist job here okay you see data scientist let me search it okay you see how many jobs are there 918 data scientist jobs okay let me write it here okay 918 data scientist jobs okay 918 data scientist jobs now let me search for azure data engineering okay let me search for azure data engineer jobs okay let me search for it okay are you seeing this are you seeing this difference 83517 okay this much is job for this much is job for azure data engineers are you seeing the difference there is more than 100 times of difference between job of data scientist and azure data engineer this much is the difference and that's why i said you that believe me you will get bombarded with the calls if you are trying if you are if you want to uplift your career okay if you are trying to uplift your career and if you want to learn a, a technology which can boost your career which and which can take you to next level then believe me this is the technology for you okay this is the technology for you which can take you to that to that level okay so this was a whole comparison between data scientists versus azure data engineer just now i opened nokri platform and showed you then i also compared these three platform aws azure and gcp that you should learn data engineering on which platform and why i gave you reason for that there should be reasoning behind everything like whatever decision you take in your life right you should know everything about it every bits and bits about it okay and i told you there is very less less supply and high demand in market for this azure data sub engineer supply very high heavy demand and very less candidates know this technology actually okay 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 so this was a brief introduction of this profile okay 
this was a brief introduction of this profile okay let me take you to that ppt again okay let me take you to that ppt again okay let me show you this ppt okay <coughs> OK, you see this. These are faster, fastest growing tech op occupations in the market. OK, you see this data engineers has the highest. Is the highest growing tech op occupation in the markets. So all the other skill sets. OK, data scientist, backend developer, UI developer, all those Android developer, all those developers are below this data engineers actually. OK. When I go to next slide in this slide, I can show you the. Market size revenue forecast, OK? This is the revenue forecast of. Big data actually from 2011 to 2027, OK? 2011 to 2027 and you can see it is it has increasing graph, OK? It has increasing graph. It is continuously increasing year by year, OK? So if you will be learning this technology, OK, uh, you can you you will be rest assured that for next 10 years that you are in safe hands. I mean, you will have to just up a skill in that technology only. OK, you don't have to roam here and there that OK, now this technology has got old. Let's learn that technology or let's learn that that technology. You you will be safe for 10, 12 years. OK, you can keep getting knowledge on this Azure data engine profile. You can keep getting expertise on this Azure data engineering profile. OK, such a high demanding technology. This is right now in the market. OK. OK, if I take you here, so I just showed you like the number of jobs that are there in market. So I took this screenshot on 24th of August and there were 81,000 jobs. And just now I showed you now there are around 83,000 jobs in the market for this profile. OK, this 83,500 you see on 21st. On 20 on. OK. On 24th, there were 81,000 jobs and you see uh, in this six, seven days, there are more than 83,500 jobs. You see how much I mean, there are more than 2000 more job posting for this profile. Actually, that has happened. OK, there are more than 2000 job posting that has happened within in those six, seven days. After 24th, this is this is in sort I took on 24th and today is 31st. So in these six, seven days, there are more than 2000 job posting relevant to this profile actually. OK. So that's what I said. There is shortage in market for Azure data engineering skill set. Uh, this is the right time for you to grab this opportunity and take your career to next level. OK. OK, so this was. This was. All the thing that I wanted to show you. OK, I will show you some more thing. So I'm give, taking two minutes break. So do you, anyone if anyone has any question, they can ask me right now. So if you have come here, you should ask me any doubt that you have. OK, because this is a platform where you can discuss all the things that is that are coming in your mind at which technology you should learn and which technology you should not learn. OK, so if you have any questions that are coming in your mind, you can ask and clear those doubts right now. Anyone has any questions? Anyone? Yeah, hi Arun. Pius this side. Hi Pius. So Arun, like hi. I don't have like any knowledge on like Azure. So how much time like like it will take to like learn this technology? Okay, so we will be taking two to two point five months of session actually, and that mm -hmm. will be sufficient to get hands on this this Azure technology actually. Okay, and are you like also providing the assistant to like to pass the like certificate? No, we don't provide assistance in passing the certificate, but I strongly suggest you even mm -hmm. see I have more, worked more than 
five years on this Azure technology stack, and I don't have a, even a single certification actually. So my so suggestion is, you basically more focus on the like practical part. Yes, yes, yes. So. Yes. So my my suggestion to you is, don't run behind certifications. Certifications are just a piece of paper. If you won't be able to work on the things that are in front of you, like there will be no use of those certifications actually. You should know the things that. I mean, uh, you should know the things like that. What are how we can work on Azure platform? Okay, theory theory kind of thing you can read from anywhere. I mean, there are many documentations that are available in internet. But if you know the things like how how we can work on Azure platform. I mean, nothing can beat that. No certification can beat that that I can guarantee. I told you like I don't have even a single, even a basic, uh, the most basic certification is of Azure fundamentals with me right now. But but I I have been appointed as subject matter expert in my organization. Are you getting my point? What I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I get the point. Yeah. Yes, yes. So how many years of experience do you have, Pius? Yeah, I have like total 11 years of experience. Okay, nice. So okay. I worked on the like different technologies like .NET, React, okay. Emular, but very good. Cloud site like I want to explore. Okay, okay. So where do you stay in Delhi and here or what? Yeah, Delhi. Yeah, Delhi and here. Okay, okay. So you work for which company? CoForge. Okay, okay. In Gurgaon or Noida? Greater Noida. <laughs> okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So now before exploring to this syllabus, okay, let me tell you a few more things. Okay, let me tell you a few more things. Like, what is the CTC? What is the CTC that what is the CTC that you get from after learning this Azure Data Engineering profile? Okay. What is the CTC that you get from learning this Azure Data Engineering profile? Okay. So it really depends on what is your current CTC. OK, suppose you have 10 LP of package. OK, so if you will start switching, the next company will give you offer of 15 LPA. So while serving notice period, you will take two, three more offers and it can easily go up to 20, 25 lakhs. OK, it can easily go up to 20, 25 lakhs. There is 20, 25 lakhs is very much normal in this data engineering profile in this Azure data engineering profile. You can easily cross 30, 35 lakhs as well. OK, you can easily cross 30, 35 lakhs as well. OK, my students has. So I've trained many students and my student have till now got 25 LP of package. Let's see who who if. If uh, you people. Join this Azure Data Engineering course. Let's see who breaches this this threshold actually. And it's very normal that in Azure Data Engineering profile, a person can cross this threshold. They can easily reach up to 35, 40 LPA easily. This is not a big deal in this data engineering profile. OK. So in a team, suppose in a data analytics team, OK, data analytics team in a data analytics team, OK. Suppose there is a data analytics team in a company and there are two kind of people actually. OK, there are two kind of people actually that work together that are data engineers. OK, data engineers and data scientists. OK, data scientists. OK, both both the people deal with the both the people deal with data. OK, data engineers processes the data, manages the data and data scientists use that data. OK, data scientists use that data okay inside their algorithms okay so i have i have worked on many of the data analytics projects so if i talk about my current project there are more than more than 20 data engineers actually that are working to bring that data into into a proper streamline okay okay and there are there are two to three data scientists that are working to feed this data Okay, this data that data engineers are processing into their their algorithms actually. Okay, are you getting my point? So this is the difference. You see, there is shortage of this these data engineers actually in the market. This is the demand, and there is so, really shortage in the market for these data engineers skill set. 
Okay. Okay. So this was whole about the demand and the and the job perspective of this Azure Data Engineering profile. Okay. If I come to the syllabus part, okay. So okay, I didn't tell you about this forum D. So forum D is an forum for data engineers. Okay. I'm building this forum continuously. Okay. You can you can connect with me on my LinkedIn profile. Okay. This is my LinkedIn profile actually. Okay. You can connect with me here and get in touch with all the latest updates. Okay. So this is my LinkedIn profile. Okay. And you can get connect with with me to stay stay updated with all the relevant updates and as i said i am building this community this forum d community this is a forum especially for data engineers okay so we are a group of data engineers actually and this program this is your data engineer program is a developers guidance program okay this this is not for any support kind of word. This is for development. Development of. Data pipelines for automated processing of data data actually. And we are we for MD are based out in Gurgaon. OK, if you don't know if you know that is good. We are based out in Gurgaon. OK. And if I talk about the syllabus, OK, if I talk about the syllabus, OK. So we'll be covering the ETL concepts. ETL is something which is called as extract, transform and load. This is the this concept is same almost in all ETL projects that you will be working on. OK. Whether you are in working in Power BI or Tableau or a Snowflake, these concepts are common in all the platforms. Actually, these are important con concepts. Whatever I will be teaching that will be very much relevant to interview. OK. That will be very much relevant to interview. OK, everything that I'll be teaching. So we have I have given as well as taken many interviews. OK, so with my experience, whatever things I can, whatever best things I can give to you, I will be giving to you. OK. Whatever things that I'll be teaching to you, consider this as 85 or 90 percent chance that that question will be asked in your interview, either in one interview or another interview. OK, if I'm telling that this is important for interview, it means that is important for interview. OK, <clears throat> then I'll be talking to you about a spark. OK, what a spark is OK, for what purpose this spark is used? OK, for what purpose this spark is used and. All the concepts that are behind this spark, I'll be talking about all those things and these are the syllabus actually that I'll be covering. OK, I'll be sharing this syllabus with you after this, this session. You can take a close look at it. OK. Then. I'll be I will start my discussion around this Azure. OK, I'll be talking about two kind of connections that is there in Azure that is JDBC and ODBC connection. OK, then I'll be talking about Azure Databricks. That is a service in Azure. OK, this Databricks is right now game changer in the market. This is the best analytics tool that is available right now in the market. And again, this. This Databricks is a separate company that is integrated with Azure. Let me show you this Databricks. Let me tell you about this Databricks. OK, let me tell you about this Databricks. Uh, so you have come here. I am not sure how many of you are aware of a spark. OK, but a spark is something that is the best thing right now in market to process very big size of data. OK, a spark is something that is one of the best thing in the market to process the data. OK. Best thing or you can say best. Yeah, right. Just let, let's write this only best thing in the market to process the data. OK, to process the data. This is the best thing in the market to process the data process big data. When I'm writing big data, what do I mean by big data? It means very heavy size of data. OK. <coughs> it means very heavy size of data. OK, it simply means think of it as very heavy size of. Very heavy size of data. OK, just think of it like this. OK. 
and this data bricks which i just showed in my syllabus which i just showed you in my syllabus right this is your data bricks okay i'm just building this is your data bricks okay uh, sorry i was just talking about this is your data bricks so behind this is this is your data bricks actually spark runs okay behind this data bricks okay behind this data bricks actually spark runs okay actually spark runs behind this data bricks actually this spark runs okay behind this data bricks actually spark runs and this data bricks has been found has been founded by the founders of this spark okay let me write it here only data bricks is founded by the founders of founders of spark okay data bricks has been founded by the founders of spark and i said data bricks is a separate company okay let me write it here only data bricks data bricks is a separate separate okay this data bricks is a separate company okay someone's mic is open Okay. So Data Bricks is a separate company, as I said, and behind this Data Bricks actually is Spark Runs. Behind the Data Bricks actually is Spark Runs. Okay. And this Data Bricks is founded by the founders of Spark. Okay. Let me open that Data Bricks Wikipedia page. You see, this is the Data Bricks Wikipedia page. Okay. and this is this is one of the best analytics platform right now okay and there are very less candidates in the market that know this tool this is the tool where where data engineers work this is the tool actually where data engineers work okay this is the tool where data scientists work so all the major technology stack that is there in market right now all those like data engineers and data scientists or data analysts all work in this platform together okay and you see this was founded by mathai jahiria and he was the he himself was the founder of spark this mathai jahiria okay he himself is the founder of spark okay you see known for apache spark okay so he himself is the founder of this data bricks and that's why i mean i mean you will see if um, when we will proceed ahead like we will see like we will see that that how this data bricks technology is different than other technology data that is available in the market in this analytics industry okay i can clearly vouch for it i i can vouch for it that this is one of the best analytics thing in the market right now okay and 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 no one can beat it right now i mean there is no technology in, right now in the market that is in competition with this data bricks actually okay that i can tell with my experience i can vouch for it okay okay yeah so that's what i was telling that we will be learning this data bricks okay so data bricks is a data bricks is a separate company as i said and this just now i showed you in wikipedia right and this data bricks is integrated with data bricks is integrated with azure azure cloud okay or you can say microsoft okay since azure cloud is a product of microsoft only okay this data bricks is integrated with azure cloud okay this microsoft okay data bricks is integrated with azure cloud platform okay so this data bricks is integrated with all the major cloud platforms this is the kind of popularity this data bricks technology has actually it is it is integrated with aws as well okay it is integrated with aws as well okay and this data bricks is integrated with this data bricks is integrated with gcp cloud as well okay gcp cloud as well okay google cloud platform okay this data bricks is integrated with gcp cloud as well you see do you see the popularity of this technology that it is integrated with all the three three major cloud platforms that are available in market right now okay so we'll be talking about this data bricks in very much detail in our session okay 
We will be talking about this Databricks in very much detail in our session. Then we will be talking about this Azure Data Lake Gen 2. OK. Azure Data Lake Gen 2 is a. Place where we store data in our data lake. OK, so how in different way we can store our data in data lake. So we'll be talking about that. Then we'll be talking about this Azure Data Factory. OK, OK, let me write here Azure Data Lake Gen 2. This is. This is. <laughs> this is data lake on Azure platform. OK. On Azure platform. OK, this is data lake on Azure platform. OK, where. We store data. This is a place. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of cuff actually. Where we can store data. This is a place where we can store data. And I also write about Azure Databricks. OK, I also wrote about this Azure Databricks. OK. This is a place. To process data, this is a place to process data. OK, Azure Data Lake Gen 2. It, this is a data lake on Azure platform where we store data. OK, this is the place to process data. This is the place to store data. We have another service. We have another an, something called Azure Data Factory in Azure. OK, something called Azure Data Factory in Azure. OK. This is. This is. ETL tool. OK, this is ETL tool. ETL tool means extract trans. <coughs> Sorry. This is ETL tool. ETL tool means we can. <coughs> extract data. OK, extract data, transform data. OK, transform the data and load the data. OK, this is a ETL tool means. This is a tool to extract data, transform data and load the data. OK, what are all these things I'll be telling you in my further sessions actually? OK, so this is an this is an ETL tool actually. Other things that we will be learning in our session is this Azure Key Vault, Azure Key Vault service. OK, this is very, very important when we come talk. We start talking about the security. Very important. When we talk about when we talk about when we talk about security security in azure platform okay when we talk about security in azure cloud this is very important when we talk about security in azure cloud okay now let me so all these things we will be covering i will be sharing this syllabus to you you can have a look if you want OK, I'll be telling you about another thing. There is something called Azure Logic App in Azure. OK, so this is for automation of few of our tasks. OK, this Azure, Lo Azure Logic App. Azure Logic App. For automation of few of. Our tasks, OK, OK, this is for this Azure Logic App is for automation of few of our tasks. This is Azure SQL Server. This is for storing. Structured data. OK, for. Storing. Structured data, what all these structured data is data I will be telling in my further classes actually. OK, and I will be helping you to do some of the installations in your system. OK, that is important for this session to proceed further. OK. So this is this is the whole syllabus actually. OK, that will be covered in in the batch that is going to start on 4th of 4th of September. OK. So <clears throat> the classes will be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. OK, classes will be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from. From 8 p.m. to around 9.30 p.m. OK. So these are all the information like that I wanted to give to you. If you have any doubt, I am opening the forum to if you, so that if you have any doubt, you can ask right now. So if you have come here, there might be multiple doubts that might be popping up inside your mind. OK. There might be some. Some guidance or some guidance that you would be needing. There might be something that you you are confused at whether which technology you should learn. 
okay so there might be multiple things that might be coming up in your mind actually okay so you can ask any of the things uh let's have friendly discussion and you can ask any of the things that is popping up inside your mind actually okay do anyone uh, anyone wants to ask any question from me anyone okay so i think uh, no one has any doubt okay so let's close this demo session okay uh, i'll be sharing this syllabus in the whatsapp group if anyone wants to have a look they can they can look at it okay and if they feel that they should learn this they can connect with us and we will see like how we'll proceed further okay thank you so much everyone for your time thank you so much it was nice talking to you thank you thank you